Oh, hi, hi, Ore. Thanks, thanks for. Should I start, Ore? Hi. Uh, hola, muy buenos días a todos. Eh, espero que me escuchen bien. Si alguien no está escuchando correctamente, favor de informarnos o notificarnos. Vamos a empezar el webinar de Jagna. Eh, Jagna eh, es una herramienta que ha, tiene un partnership eh, con Comscope, con el fabricante el cual eh, representamos. Eh, actualmente nosotros trabajamos de la mano con la gente de Jagna, presentarán sus diferentes productos. La presentación será grabada, estará publicada y será en idioma inglés, aunque al final de la presentación vamos a obsequiar un access point a participantes dentro de este webinar. Es, este, esto será al final y eh, serán las preguntas en español o en inglés, como ustedes deseen, y haré con todo gusto la traducción de las respuestas eh, que nos mencionen en español. Muchas gracias. Um, so thank you, Rai. You are uh, right now uh, in listen mode. People can hear you right now. We are recording, so it's all yours. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Ore. Thank, thanks for the opportunity to present to you and uh, your, your, your partners. Uh, so, Ore, how many partners do we have today, you said? We have 30 partners. Uh, Oh wow! Okay. Awesome. Uh, okay. Thank, thank you so much. Uh, I want to I want to welcome uh, all the partners to this uh, webinar. And uh, my name is Ram Rai. I'm based out of Texas in the U.S. That's where our company is headquartered. I also have uh, Sai Sandeep, who is our uh, customer success manager. He'll be showing us the demonstration of the platform or product. But before he starts, I wanted to I wanted to show a couple of uh, slides and talk about uh, Yagna as a company, you know who we are and uh, what we do. Then then we can jump onto the product. Is, is that uh, is that okay, uh, Hori? We can move forward. Yeah. So uh, this slide I'm I'm just showing you about the company history. You know what we do. And uh, you know who are the different customers we have on, on our platform. So today, if you look at the manufacturers, we support VMware, Cisco, Checkpoint, uh, Cisco Meraki, and of course Ruckus Wireless, which is now part of Comscope. And and um, you know we 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 also support a number of distributors globally with all these vendors. So I see I put some names. So I know uh, so hopefully you guys will be our customers soon, uh, Hore. But Ingram, Take Data, MSI, ECS, Reddington, these are some of the large multinational companies, as well as we have a lot of local companies, especially, especially in the LATAM market. We have a number of them, um, like ScanSource, CompuSolutionist, um, uh, uh, Ingram, uh, Adistec, Westcon, they're all our customers today with another vendor. So, and plus we have all these different resellers who are using our platform and very successfully deploying our product in uh, various forms. And we have more than 25,000 users currently, globally. We are in 100 plus countries, and uh, we transact more than $2 billion worth of codes every year through Yagna platform uh, in various forms. So you can see some of the history, right? So by the way, just to, just to add to this, we are also part of Gartner Magic Quadrant, which we got uh, inducted into last year in October. So, any questions uh, so far? So, if uh, so, I, I just wanted to kind of uh, uh, explain our value proposition standpoint. So, basically, from a ruckus wireless standpoint, we 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 support um, support. A, this is a cloud-based solution for zone planner replacement. So we are replacing zone planner, which was being deployed by Rutgers till December of last year. We are replacing that with the, our new product called uh, Powered by Yagna. So we are, uh, um, we are basically helping Rutgers to drive 
in efficiency and building this design capability all all using our cloud platform and we work closely with Rutgers engineering team and product team uh, to to make sure all the data in the platform is up to date and accurate so that when you when you when you come to a Yagna platform you get the best output best outcome so so that I just want to clarify that and from a distributor from a distributor standpoint what we also want to do is you know you're not only we are we're we are going to go through the platform but we're not only helping sama wi-fi to give this as a service to you from a design perspective but also we will help sama uh, who's your distributor to really drive in automation of coating potentially also give you guys the automatic quotes and pricing if possible if uh, that uh, that becomes necessary so those are some of the ideas we we are we are we are uh, bringing uh, bringing to both sama and uh, to all the partners so from a from a from a value standpoint what our solution is we provide this whole whole uh, end to end uh, workflow like i explained where you guys can go through the design using our rf planner and once the design is complete you can get in a quote from sama uh, on the fly you don't have to call anyone you don't have to send an email we can automate that entire process. So that's the additional value we want to bring to you as a, as a reseller, as a partner. So, so that, 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 that's, that's the efficiency. We want to bring a lot of efficiency. And it, remember, this is a digital platform. It's on the, on the cloud, so you can access it from anywhere, whether you're at home, whether you're at your workplace, or you're at your customer, customer uh, uh, location. So you can do all this. As long as you have a good cloud plan, you can upload the floor plan onto Yagna, and we will very quickly we will tell you exactly how many APs are needed. You know, AP placement. We'll provide a heat map, and we'll, we'll actually deliver you an output, which I will show you how how it works. So that's that's a, that's a magic. So kind of a workflow. We can I, and I won't spend much time here. So this platform will help you as a reseller. It will help you to collaborate with with Sama efficiently, and also get the best and most up-to-date data from, from, uh, from, the, from the vendor, which is Rutgers Wireless. So, and help you manage your business more efficiently and, and be more profitable while, while, while helping you save time and money where you don't have to go on site to a customer location to get a design done. If you have a good floor plan, you can use that floor plan and use Yagna to come up with the design and, and uh, develop the code for your customer without having to go on site. So that can save you a lot of time and also a lot of money. So they basically, you know, just to highlight, so we are, we are Bisti ready, reseller ready platform. We have a very flexible architecture on the product. And also from a design perspective, we, you know, we provide you fully, fully automated design solution with the core. And, you know, we, you know, from a, from a distributor standpoint, we provide a lot of analytics and reporting also, reporting capability. So, so these are some of the key aspects I wanted to share with you as partners and also um, I know Jorge, you have, we have gone through this presentation, but I just wanted to share this, some of the highlights to your, your partner partners. So um, any questions for me, Jorge, I, uh, you know, if, if there are no questions, I can, we can jump on to the demo. Not at the moment that I have, but uh, you okay. can continue with the demo with no problems, and we at the end can answer. Okay, perfect. So at this point, uh, I'll let uh, Sai take over and do the product demonstration, um, if that's okay. Sai? Yeah. Yeah, uh, thanks, Sam. You want to share? Do I, I need uh, to do an unshare? Stop. Yeah, I can show my screen. Thank so, you. Yeah. So let me know uh, if you guys uh, can see my screen. Yes, we can see it. OK, great. Uh, hello, and uh, welcome all uh, to this presentation of uh, Rakka's Wi-Fi Planner. So as a reseller, you will you'll be uh, going, going through this platform, and you'll be able to quickly ascertain and get a proper Wi-Fi design in few single steps, in few simple steps. So this is a cloud-based solution, and we uh, we have uh, replaced Zone Planner, and 
any Rutgers reseller can sign up to this platform and use a free trial period of seven days to try out all the features of this planner. And once you uh, are satisfied with the planner, with the outputs, you can always uh, subscribe to any of the subscriptions. Now, this cloud-based Wi-Fi solution is hosted at ruckus.yednaaq.com. This is the URL there where anyone can just sign up. As a reseller, you can just sign up using this option on this uh, web page. As this is a cloud-based solution, uh, all your emails will be sent to you whenever you sign up. And we also have a login with OTP feature, wherein if you want to share your credentials with any of your coworkers or even with some Wi-Fi uh, SEs who, who can help you with the designs, you can do that using this OTP feature. However, you can also uh, you can reset your password uh, in case you want to do that as well. We have a free uh, support. You can always uh, contact us using this support link. Any questions or queries you may have while you're uh, signed up onto the platform, we will always be uh, able to help you with that. So as you can see, I have a username and password set ready. And let me quickly log into the platform. And you can see there is a cloud-based solution, how you can uh, log into the platform, see various aspects of the dashboard. So as soon as you log in, we have uh, something called as a dashboard where all your recent designs can be accessed here. Similarly, we have a graph of uh, how you're performing in terms of designs or different quarters. You can set, of course, you can set your own quarter using this. And we have a screen section wherein we have a ready user guide here in a proper uh, question and answer section. So in this format, uh, you have you know, options to read questions and understand how it may help your scenarios. So most of the questions are uh, all or that you may have already may already be uh, answered here. In case uh, you you want to understand more, we can always help you. You can always reach reach out to us using uh, the support link here. We have support or feedback section from here. And from this option, you can uh, reach out to us. Now, to start with any design, uh, Hello, Sai. first step sorry. you do sorry is. Sorry, Sai? Yes, Ram. So, so, so Hore, uh, are you able to understand uh, Sai clearly? Are you able to hear him clearly? Yes, it's OK. Uh, no problem. You can go ahead and continue. Uh, uh, I will okay. let you know at the end if people is asking you something about. Thank you. OK, perfect. Thank you. Sure. Thank you, Hoge. So OK, uh, to continue, uh, to create any new Wi-Fi plan, you can click on this step. The first step is uh, to provide certain information about your customer. In case you have any previous customer, once you uh, have already done, you can always fetch that information from this uh, address book. Now, for example, I want to uh, quickly fetch all these details from here. As you can see, we have this information already. We support almost all the countries uh, of, you know, uh, across the world, and you can create designs for any of those countries. So for our demo, I'll just go ahead and click next. So the, for example, I'm going to build a design for uh, this customer, and we, uh, as soon as we start creating a Wi-Fi plan, these are the steps that we'll be performing. We'll provide the flow details, and Next, uh, we'll talk about coverage areas as well as walls. Walls are basically your, uh, the area where you define all your attenuation factors. And final step is uh, AP placement section. So this is a uh, guided design se section wherein you can uh, follow all these steps to quickly fetch your design. We have on this floor design, Flow details page, you can uh, see we have a couple of metrics. Uh, you can either you do your designs either in feet or meter. And similarly, you can define your uh, area, like uh, 
for example, I want to do a 200 by 400 by 200 feet design. I can do that. Or I can also set my uh, floor height. Basically, floor height is the is the height at which you place all your access points, and we look at how the signal behaves across the entire area. We also support uploading a floor plan, wherein uh, the floor plan could be any of these formats, JPEG, PNG, GIF, BMP, or PDF format. For our purposes, I'll just upload a floor plan today. So as you can see, uh, I'm just uploading a floor plan. And if you notice, uh, as soon as we uploaded a floor plan, the dimensions of your area are removed. This is to ensure that uh, the proper dimensions of your floor plan, you can let the system know those dimensions uh, in the next step. So whenever you upload a floor plan, this would be an additional step. However, it, to provide proper accuracy, we can define these dimensions across any two points. So you can use this uh, feature and upload a floor plan and define the distance between any two points across your floor. And you can see how the scale gets affected. At this point of time, the system does not know uh, what are your areas. However, as soon as you provide distance between any two points, the system automatically scales the entire area across your floor plan. Note, your floor plan could be uh, any, any bigger or uh, any format in terms of, uh, it could be a PDF or a JPEG or a PNG image. Still, you can upload that and you can get all the details of your floor here. Now, we have just uploaded a floor plan. Any section that is completed will be highlighted uh, with a light blue color and that you're currently working on will be in a darker dark blue color and similarly any unfinished sections will be in gray color you can also use this as a navigation panel you can switch between different uh, pages from using this option now we want to define the coverage areas across our entire area so for to you do that i will be using this option to draw coverage area. I can draw coverage area by clicking and dragging across my entire uh, floor plan. Or for example, if I want to do a section of uh, coverage, I can do that using different uh, points. However, if I want to you know, uh, remove this area, I can uh, just do this by selecting this area. And uh, remove area that way if you made any any changes uh, you want to edit any changes you can do that we also have a rectangular drawing tool wherein i can just click and drag to easily draw my entire uh, coverage area we also have another option of uh, drawing exclusion areas very often you would want to define your exclusion areas for example you do not want this area to be uh, covered with any access point so that you can easily define this exclusion areas. Now, uh, you can also adjust any area by moving this around like this. You can also adjust uh, your floor plan opacity. By default, it is set at 90%. However, you can either increase or decrease your floor plan opacity. Similarly, you can adjust your floor plan or adjust the scale that we have uh, uploaded and defined in case you want to adjust the scale right now it is by 137 by 244 this is automatically calculated based on the distances we have given uh, in the previous page so uh, if you have any questions uh, please let me know if not i can uh, go ahead to the next step go ahead Okay, great. Thank you, Hogan. So uh, this, this is a section where we are uh, defining our walls. Basically, walls are uh, where or the points where we define our attenuation factors. Walls present or curtail your signal from uh, one section to the other section. 
so you have two options here one is drawing walls or the other section is can profiles wherein if you have we have a different a defined model of uh, can profiles wherein you do not bother about drawing individual walls instead you can uh, define the attenuation pattern across your entire floor plan now in this case uh, if you define your area to be wall type as a dry, dry wall office you can see these attenuation factors get, will be affected across your entire area you can also switch between different uh, can profiles you can uh, also see how the typical wall distance and, and individual attenuation factors change for our demo purposes i'll be drawing the walls individually just to show you how easy or all the options that you can do using this of drawing walls manually so to draw walls manually you can see uh, we have a wall palette on the right uh, section of your screen and we have a predefined set of uh, wall types across your wall palette each wall type will provide a certain attenuation factor so for example i want to quickly draw a dry wall across your uh, my floor plan and i want to define that by uh, doing this so at any point of time i can just click on at one section and drag double click to stop so this is uh, as easy as uh, click drag and stop so double click to stop so this you can also switch between different wall types like for example i can just do this i can select all these types to be a uh, thick window or if i want to define any elevator shaft at any point i can just do that say for example i want to define an elevator section here i can do that double click to stop now you can also change all your wall types from one section to other like i can draw or click drag and move this as well and i can also uh, change from one type to other just by selecting a different wall type now i can do that as soon as i select and click on different wall type you can see this wall has changed from elevator shaft to thick door we also support keyboard options like uh, control c and control v you can uh, quickly copy all the walls uh, by just pasting it across the area and you can also drag select multiple wall types and if you want to move them all across different section you can do that and you can also change or select multiple walls using this uh, option on the top let me quickly draw a few more walls uh, so that you can see how the signal when we place the aps how the signal behaves so you can also remove any wall type just by using uh, you know you can exit the wall drop mode and just select this and remove walls or you can also use uh, keyboard delete options uh any questions so far on this so i I've, i've just copied another wall using keyboard option and i'm moving it around so this becomes uh, particularly helpful when you are drawing individual uh, cubicles wherein it is it becomes necessary for you to just uh, copy paste all the same type of uh, section you can copy paste all that using this uh, drag selection and uh, keyboard shortcuts so uh, we also have a custom wall option for example you do not find any wall type of your uh, preference on this predefined palette you can use a custom wall option you can add that option using add walls here and you can see uh, we, you can set any color and uh, add a wall type name and provide any attenuation factor that it is going to provide yes so in fact i'm just going to one question was uh, can we customize the height the the attenuation and and any other factor i think the answer is here 
Yes. So you can customize uh, your attenuation factor of any wall. If we have predefined wall types here, if you want to add any wall type of your type uh, of your uh, preference, you can do that. Say, for example, uh, I'm just going to put another wall type as uh, glass pane two, just to you know change the attenuation factor from one to another. So I'm I'm just going to mention that as wall attenuation as two. And as soon as I add it, it will be available in this list. Note, all, any custom wall type that you add, it can be available for you across your entire flow plan. So you define any new wall type here. When you create any new uh, plan, that will always be available for you to choose. So now I can choose this and uh, click and drag, double click to stop. So this is uh, so it, this is uh, very easy to use across multiple designs. You can always do that. So this is where we are. Uh, so far, we have done. Uh, we have provided the flow details, and we have mentioned our coverage area as well as defined our wall types. Now we'll go ahead to the final AP placement section. So you can always uh, use this navigation panel on the top as well. If you want to switch back between different uh, pages, you can do that. <clears throat> so we have a pop-up here, uh, which lets you know you can do different options using this uh, manual adjustment mode. By default, when you land onto this page, you will be under manual adjustment mode no access points will be automatically added you, to do that you can click on access add access point here as soon as you click on it uh, we have a pop-up wherein all the list of access points will be presented to you we have categorized them into uh, good better and best under three different sections so we have around 23 different access points that uh, trucker supports and if you want to know more details about it you can always uh, compare up to four access points here. You can click on compare and a neat uh, comparison of different access points comes up. You can also highlight any similarities or highlight any differences if you would like to make any choice based on this. So uh, for now, I'll just select with uh, select R750, which is the latest uh, Wi-Fi 6 access point and we also have something called as coverage profile and balance profile and density profile. Profiles are a way uh, to adjust your transmit power. Each access point will have different transmit powers in different profiles. So for example, R750 has a transmit power of 23 under coverage. Under balance, the same access point will, will be uh, placed with transmit power as 20 and similarly, uh, with, under density, you can see the transmit power has reduced uh, to 50. So selecting different, different profile uh, lets you choose your power and how your access point behaves. Now, I have selected an access point, and I'm going to place it across my entire uh, flow plan. I'm just going to place an access point here and see how the signal behaves. So looking at it, I can uh, quickly see for example i'm going to place three access points here and see how the signal behaves now there may be different uh, requirement as in what is your acceptable level of signal for most cases uh, neg 70 db may be an acceptable level of signal however you can always move this scale to see how your signal behaves or how your access point uh, the configuration of your access points and how your, your number of access points, whether they are sufficient for you to place across your entire area. Now, for example, I'm going to set it as minus 50 dB and see how this access points behave. If you see, there are some sections there where I would need to cover when my signal is at minus 50. Note, minus 50 is considered to be a very good signal. So 
most in most cases you will be uh, considering negative 60 db as well to be a very good signal so you can see uh, how the signal is behaving and if not for the walls on your floor plan this is an ideal signal coverage and its radiation pattern however because uh, you have your walls that are placed you can see how the signal is behaving so this is how you can uh, place different access points now you can also place a uh, multiple or a different level of different uh, variety of access points under different profiles now i can also place uh, r730 along with r750 now under the same profile as coverage i can uh, place it here in case you want to you know make your signal lower than minus 50 or uh, more so if you see i can move this and place access points in this uh, different access points as such and i can easily move this to select multiple access points i can uh, drag select similar to how you do the walls you can also drag select multiple walls multiple access points and change all of them into a different access point you can do that using this uh, right panel option now if i want to change all of them into t750 i can see you can do that here now whatever configuration we have selected that will be uh, adjusted and you can see how t750 behaves as we have selected multiple access points uh, you can see all of them being moved if i want to quickly copy any access point i can use that i can just control c and control v the same keyboard shortcuts will also work now we all by default we'll be placing in 5 gigahertz band you can also uh, click on 2.4 gigahertz band and see how the same access point behaves in 2.4 gigahertz signal uh, band and if you if you need you can always also adjust uh, the number of access points accordingly The another feature uh, that we have is uh, auto place AP feature. Let me quickly select back five years to uh, show you how auto place access point feature works. So you can click on auto place AP feature. And when you do that, if you have made any changes to your uh, manual adjustment of your walls or of your access points, you can, they will be removed and the system will freshly placed place all the access points again before we automatically place access points we require a few more parameters to do that uh, you can see we can define the number of access point number of users and devices across your entire area now uh, i have selected these values you can also move this around to easily select as you can see, we have different, uh, all the list of access points, all 23 access points are listed here. And if you want to know any uh, details about a particular access point, you can select that and you can see a list of specifications of that particular access point will be shown here. Also, you can uh, choose any access point again and you'll see a similar pop-up to select the configuration. Now, in this case, let me uh, select a density profile, which will place access points with uh, this R610 access point with transmit power at 15. So to cover a similar area, you would require more access points because your signal is uh, lower right now. So as you can see, uh, our algorithm is now placing all the access points in different locations. It is optimizing AP locations and calculating what is the number of access points that we have. So for this, for this area, for the same area, if I select R610 at uh, density profile, you can see we have 13 APs that we require to cover this entire area. And you can move and see how the signal behaves at any point of time. 
in most cases, if you want, you can al always adjust once you have uh, auto place AP. You can always adjust uh, your area by adding more access points or you know removing anything. If you think they are uh, more or less, you can always do that. So for can example, I'm just going to place another access point. Uh, sorry, yeah. Go ahead. Can you okay. show us, uh, for example, I see very, very good design with R610, but can you, for example, add again a different type? For example, a small access point or a bigger access point? Yes, you can. You can always uh, click on auto place AP again, just that uh, whatever you've selected right now will be uh, overwritten. And your parameters that you have selected previously in terms of users and devices will stay. If you want, you can keep them. And just to see uh, how a different access point or even uh, say R710, when you compare with R610 behaves, you can do that. You want to select the same parameters you, you did for density in R610. You want to select the same thing. Yes, and I see that it recognized the new Wi-Fi 6 access points as well. It's already there. Yes. Yes, they are already so, there. So know are, that we have. Yeah, please go ahead. Okay. No, these are two questions from the public. They want to know if we already have Wi-Fi 6 access points. I see on the main screen that you have R750. And I see that, that you can mix because that was another yes. question. You can mix different. You can, yes, you, you can always. Very good. Yes, you can do. You can always do that. You can always Please. do that. You can mix different type of access points and uh, place any access point in any profile. Just that uh, when you ask the system to automatically place access points, only one type of access point can be selected. However, when you want to manually adjust, you can always add any access point from here. OK. Uh, another so question, if you see, by, any, by any chance, do you have a possibility to set the height of the access point uh, versus floor? So, so what's the, the, the height of the access point from the floor? Yeah, so uh, we, we cannot individually select the height of the access point uh, of one access point. However, you okay. have seen that you can def you can define the height across of your access point using this uh, floor details page. In the floor details page, you can always adjust this floor height. So basically, okay. this floor height is where you define all your you place your access points. Very good question. Uh, and of course, we see feet, but usually in Latin America we use meters. And I see that there is up oh. right there. Either. Yes. So yes, it is also available here. So it converts automatically. That's what another information I see. Yes, Thank it you. does. Yes, you can go it does. Great. Thank you, Hoggy. Thank you for getting that uh, questions out. So let's uh, quickly go back to AP placement page and uh, we'll see how you can uh, get the output out of your designs. So. Right now, you can see we have uh, placed all the access points. And uh, you can also see the coverage area. At the bottom of your screen, you can see at any point of time, you can see what is uh, my coverage area and how many access points are placed and things like that. You can also see what is the height at which my access points are placed. One of the important note, uh, note is uh, you please use the, if you have to zoom in or zoom out of any particular uh, float plan, across your entire uh, journey of designing your access point uh, design, you please use the zoom on the bottom right corner of your page rather than the browser zoom. So this uh, works well. This is uh, especially done, especially useful when you are drawing more walls. You can, you can use this feature. You can also uh, use full screen feature if you are drawing walls or, you know, Placing access points, you can always do that. You can always exit full screen using this option. Similarly, you can, uh, if you want to hide access points and you know you want to see that, you can do that. And if you want to edit any access point label, you can uh, select and click on 
edit. As soon as you select an access point, you can see this on the right corner. A panel op opens up and you can edit this. I'm just changing this to uh, left or northwest AP just for our section. So I'll I'll be placing the changing the label of that access point. This becomes uh, very useful if you are uh, you know working on different uh, floors or huge access point areas. You can always see that. So you can go ahead about and place all different, rename all your access points. Now, finally, if you want to export this into a design, you can. You have two options here. You can either export this design into an image or you can export it as a document. So when you want to export this as a document, we have a couple of options here. You can either export that into a Word document or you can also export that into a PDF document. We have a couple of predefined templates. One is AP design as well as uh, proposal. So apart from it, if you want to uh, export into a template that is uh, customized for your organization, we can always do that. So you can, uh, for example, if this AP design and proposal templates are by default provided for everyone else. However, if you want to add a custom template, you can always do that. You can get in touch with Yagna and uh, we'll help you set up a template with logos of a particular organization. Your reseller organization can, your logos can be added into the template. Hey, this, this is Bharat here. Can you folks hear me? Uh, hi, Bharat, I can. Oh, hey, thank you. Sorry, hi, this is Bharat here from uh, Comscope Ruckus. I apologize, I dialed in late as having problems getting into the audio. Um, so go ahead, uh, go ahead, say. Yeah, sure. So as you can see, we have a, a logo of Yagna currently on this particular uh, output. And you can see we have uh, defined our signal at minus 58 dBm. And we also have at the end of uh, this, we have predefined data text that uh, that can help you choose a proper uh, skew based on whatever model you of access point you select. So you can also export, as I was explaining, uh, you can also export this into a custom template. You can do that. Uh, for example, I have customized a data camp systems template. I can ex quickly export this. So as you can see here on the top, uh, you have data camp system logos. So we can have all these text customized according to your uh, choice. We can help you with that in terms of customizing your outputs. So if you want to add any more text, uh, any custom uh, text to your proposals, we can do that. So this concludes our uh, demo we have uh, time for any more questions for sure let me see if somebody else is asking more questions at the moment i don't see it okay yeah uh while we have questions while if anyone has questions let me quickly explain uh Another few team features, basically, you can have multiple people from your organization sign up to this platform and all of them can be added into uh, teams. You can customize your teams by adding all the users. So any user that signs up from your same organization with the domain, with the same domain as well as uh, same country, we automatically put them in one organization and this helps us uh, choose all the users into uh, one organization. You can add any user in, that is available in your organization. It will automatically be listed as a member here. 
you can add all of them and choose a team and if you wish you can share all your designs within your team automatically okay one question sure. now is uh, can we see rssi RSS. Yes, uh, RS, yeah, RSI is a signal strength indicator uh, view that you always see on each of the floor design. So, okay, uh, let me quickly go back to the same design. We can see how you can change RSSI. Okay, yeah, uh, you can also add multiple floors using this option. Uh, you can also copy any floor. So you can do that and uh, you can add, you can make multiple copies of it. When you do copy uh, floor, exact replica of that floor can will be built. And you can also navigate between floors uh, using the navigation panel on the top. So any multiple flows that you see, you can uh, see here. You can use this to navigate between flows. So let's go to AP placement page. Yeah, you can see uh, RSSI scale. Uh, this is what we are viewing currently. Uh, Jorge, do we have any questions around this? Or uh, is it at the moment? That's that's the last one we have. Uh, yeah, I see. You have seen showing everything right now. Everybody can get the bill of materials with this design, for example. And basically, that's uh, all the type of questions that everybody gave to us. So we we really appreciate all your help. I don't know if somebody else from Jagna wants to add something else or yes. would like to. George, we have another question. Yes, go ahead, please. Um, when when we yeah. were doing the design, the the map, uh, the heat map shows the the, the results ba based on RSSI. Can we get a different type of uh, C or a different type of result? Uh, not only RSSI, for example, data rates, coverage from one AP or other similar or it's only based on rssi at this point of time we have uh, only it's based on rssi the signal that you see is uh, the view that you see is only rssi however okay. uh, we will we have other options that are not currently shown so uh, Bharat, if you want you can uh, add in future we may also show Signal to noise ratio views. Great. Or uh, how data rates works. Uh, we can also see um, view show a data rate view. However, uh, that is uh, still work in progress. I hope. Uh, yeah, Bharat, so, if you want to take that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I guess my uh, question uh, was, uh, what views would you like to see? Right. You said not RSSI. Uh, sorry, I might have missed. What view were you looking to see? That's not RSSI. Uh, basically, uh, what I see, he expects to see data rates and coverage areas for only one AP. Data rates and coverage areas. Okay, so Let's that is that kind of, point. right, that's kind of built in to some extent. So uh, if you look at the, the profiles, um, uh, so I could double click on the profiles for a second. Yes, yes. Yes, but. 
so, so you can see a kind of, uh, profile that, yeah so we built that in uh, essentially for that so i mean so well, let me step back for a second we you know this is this is not like an off the shelf tool that uh, we just kind of to, you know, took and we are kind of um, for our partners. We are, our SE has actually worked with the, the Yagna team to come up with something that, um, based on their experience working with partners, um, you know, a lot of you know help solve a lot of the challenge common challenges partners have. Uh, one of the issues was um, you know like a tool for example like an Ekahau. It's a great tool. It's also very very complicated. It doesn't necessarily. It has to sometimes has too many knobs for for uh, certain you know practical use cases uh, it's great if you want a very detailed one so we try to make something that's you know very quick and easy to do one of the things that, that we put in is this uh, profile concept right so three profiles density um, uh, uh, coverage and I think there's a mixed one in the middle so the balance. idea being that yeah balance so the idea being that it has MCS rates it has uh, channel widths all uh, transmit powers per chain, all that built in, right? It's a canned profile. So you can just pick one. Um, if we give you all those knobs, typically you found that it gets kind of uh, complicated to design it. If, if you're trying to look, do a quick heat map for like a bid, this is um, kind of a good way to do it, right? It's an easy way to do it. So we, as you can see here, we have the different MCS rates already built in. So if you're picking a coverage profile, you are saying that the AP is only transmitting at MCS3 in, in that uh, case. And you'll get better coverage because it will cover a wider distance, right? It's MCS3. Maybe, but your deployment is maybe a, in a, could be a density deployment, right? Maybe you're doing it in a conference center. So MCS9 is important. So you can just pick that. So in some senses, that is already inbuilt. So what you are seeing, so this is the density profile, the map. So you're seeing this at MCS9. Right, you are seeing MCS9 inbuilt into the AP. So what you're asking for, in some sense, is already there. Is what I'm saying. Does that answer your question? Yes, uh, I think yes, um, and it will be probably oriented more to what you are looking for, what you are showing right now. That uh, in a report, probably mm -hmm. it will be a good benefit at some time. Mm -hmm. to get that uh, in a color graphic or a heat map with data rates probably that's where he's looking for but uh, we see. can put oh, right we can we can put in the data rate number i mean so the mcs is what determines the data rate right so mcs 9 for a wi-fi 6 ap has a particular data rate it's a standard table mapping right it, it's fixed like mcs 11 is uh for which ap is this uh, R710, um, so it's not MCS11, MCS9 in this case. MCS9 would be, uh, what is it, 17, uh, is it 17 1730, uh, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry, 30, okay. Yeah, 1733 MBP, uh, MBP. MBPS. So the data rate again is already built in, right? That is the maximum data rate you're going to get with MCS9. Right. Um, so hurry to answer your question that's again already there at the most if you want we can put in an, a, a line item saying you know you see MCS bandwidth TX power we can say MCS data rate bandwidth TX power but the data rate is kind of uh, already built in and again keep in mind this is the maximum data rate the AP can put out it's not the data rate that the client can sync that depends on Absolutely. how many antennas the client has Yes, you're right. This, this is based on the AP, what the AP sees, not what the client sees. Correct. So, so you see the max data rate is already there in the report, 867. So MCS9 uh, corresponds to 867 at 20 megahertz, right? Correct. So the data rate is already yeah. there. So what you're asking for is, I guess, some sense is already there. That's exactly. And, and yeah. one more question. Uh, mm -hmm. It's asking us about if... Uh, if we can share the design with a co-worker, for example, this is my account, mm -hmm. but somebody else wants to take a look or mm -hmm. change or edit mm -hmm. my design, mm -hmm. is he able to use his credentials to access and see my design? Yep. I, yes, so, uh, you can do yes. that, yeah. Yeah, so as long as you uh, are, you have the same company email and you're in the same country, so you're in Mexico okay. and you work for Sama, you know, you pay once, right? You 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 pay once for this tool. 
uh, and you could have like five or ten different users log in with separate logins to the same tool. You don't pay five or ten different times. So for example, if our previous tool, Zone Planner, it was tied to your laptop. So if five different users wanted to do something, then they you have to buy five different licenses, right? Or they all have to share one laptop, which is impractical, right? In yes, this correct. case, you just buy one quote unquote license, if you will, and you can have five different users, you know, they log in and they'll be able to see each other's designs, they'll be able to edit it. Uh, you don't pay five times right so that's kind of another advantage i think the only restriction is they have to be in the same country and work for the you know the same company so i guess sama um, us versus sama mexico will be treated as two separate so they will not be able to see each other's but they both work in mexico yep they'll be able to see uh, each other's designs and, and edit it if they need to is that right uh, side did i misstate something yeah, spot on, but so yeah. I'm just showing a way how you can share individual uh, projects. Like, for example, I'm on this particular project. As soon uh, you can always uh, share using this. So at any point of time, uh, you'll be uh, seeing this three dots here where you have this option to share project. And uh, list of users that are already in your organization comes up. You can always share using this uh, option. So you can see all uh, list. And if you want to quickly share across your teams, any teams that you have created will also be able to share. You'll be able to share it. Yeah. One last thing I'd like to point out, sorry, I have to drop because I'm another meeting. There is something called an OTP. So if for some reason yes. you need a Ruckus SE to log in to your account to maybe take a look at the map or give some feedback, right? right. Um, you you don't need to share a login with the Ruckus SE. Obviously it's your password. You don't want to share it with someone else. Um, as I will show you, uh, the Ruckus SE would try to log in and they'll choose this thing option called uh, login with OTP and they'll enter your email address, right? So your email will receive this one time password, which that email you can forward to the Ruckus SE. So it's a one time password. So they can log into your account with that password one time. After that, that password won't work anymore. So that's secure. They log in once, they can do whatever help you need and then they can drop out. Right, and once they drop out, they cannot get back into yours unless you give them another one-time password. Right, so that right. option is also there. Right, so it's secure and it allows you to share it with a Ruckus SE um, if you need help or some feedback. Uh, hopefully, that's that's helpful. Um, I'm sorry, I need to drop. I have another uh, meeting. I apologize. I uh, but you know, if you have, hopefully, you know, you're in good hands with Ram and Sai, and they, they, you know. Um, they've talked to a lot of partners and they've, they've really uh, invested a lot into this product and it's a really great product. Hopefully you guys get a chance to play with it and try it out. Um, just to point out that this is the only product that will be supporting our Ruckus APs going forward, right? Zone Planner does not support Ruckus uh, any, anymore, right? That's end of life. So our new APs we launched today, R550, R650, T750, all those are there only on um, Yagna. They won't be there on any other platform. They'll be on Ekahau, but that's Ekahau is a completely separate product um, for a very different, you know, user base. And if you want to do site surveys and stuff like that. And, but Yagna, we believe, you know, like I said, we built this with our SEs uh, for our partners. So I think we should have add a lot of value to get you a very quick heat map, accurate heat map, uh, and easy to do heat map, which I think is what um, most partners wanted. Okay, thanks a lot. But sure. Basically, uh, we are finished and we are already everybody out of time. I just want to thank you and say uh, that, that they were all the questions that we had. Básicamente, dijimos todas las preguntas y respuestas en inglés. Si cualquier persona por el momento tiene alguna otra pregunta que quisiera Con todo gusto que se contestara en español, puede contactarnos. Mi nombre nuevamente es Jorge Abello. Eh, estoy como jabello.samawifi.us. Eh, 